Welcome back. Our guest on this episode is Charles Chibweze Chuku, a Nigerian artist currently signed to Blue Time Entertainment. He made his debut appearance in the song All Is in Order, featuring Don Jazzy, Kuridi Belu, DNA, and Rima, released in 2019. He went on to release his first EP titled Cray Cray, where the song titled So Fine became a household song. In 2020 alone, he has released five singles. And um, with that, let's make welcome the one and only Crayon. Hi. How you doing? Good to have you on the show. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. First, you know, I'm I like to, to know. I'm signed to Maven and Blow Time though, so. Mm -hmm. Both? Yeah. Okay. Like a partnership. Mm. So Blow Time, from what I read though, Blow Time is supposed to be under Maven. Exactly. Okay. okay. So Maven boy, pretty much. Exactly. Let's talk about that. <laughs> How's that been? I mean, it's um, that's probably every upcoming artist's dream to be signed to such a label. Maybe not Maven, but some someone, you know, reputable, solid grounded and everything. How has that journey been, knowing that you're one of the artists signed there? You know, for me, it's been blessed. Like, you know, I'm happy, you know, everything has been going so far. And my EP has done really well. So like, the whole thing, like, it's been amazing. It's been good, you know, working with my boss. And like, also working with like, you know, some my other artists, like the other artists there too. And it's like family, it's mm. not like it's a whole like office. <laughs> <laughs> Like family, everybody just come and just does a thing and just we stay winning, we stay progressing. I have a question though, really quickly. So your interviews that I've seen, a lot of the times when you're giving answers in regards to what inspires your music, blah blah blah. We're talking about the streets and how you've experienced the street and yeah. blah blah blah. But now that you are doing Maven Records, your interview even changed. Now you're playing games, video games, you're relaxing, you're chilling. <laughs> Life is soft, really. Do you think that that would um, sort of change your sound? Because now you're experiencing life. A lot more different. You know, I can't say your street like that anymore. So, <laughs> for me, I just see like, you know, when it comes to the sound, you have to come from like where the foundation is. So for right. me, nothing has changed. It's just the music I keep giving you guys. Colorful music every time I, I hit the studio. You know, always bring the smoke out. You know, you <laughs> feel me. Mm. So yeah, I just keep doing music the way I feel. And mm. the way I think, because music for me is like expressing myself. Right. Sometimes when I'm going through some crazy times, I just speak to the beats, you mm. know, my sound. Yeah, so music basically. So would you say your songs are personal? Yeah, in a way, but like, I would just say every sound I put, every record I go into recording, every time I put out like my everything, my soul, because mm. I like my music to speak to the soul, because that's where greatness comes from. So mm. like, I try to, you know, reach to the soul when I make music. I mean, I, I've noticed that you're quite intentional with a lot of things about you. Yes, Like, you've sir. been saying about your sound, even your name, the story behind that. Um, very intentional. Do you think that you... Is there a struggle between keeping that intention from within and then the pressure from outside? Because I know when you first started, I mean, not everyone knew your name or, mm -hmm. like, your sound or whatever. So it's easy to go from a genuine place of pure inspiration. But now you're crayon and you have a lot more pressure to outperform the last thing that you did before. Does that stumble on your, will I say, flow of creativity, if I, if I can put it that way? No, for real, because like, when, when you're working with Jazzy and Maven, you know, they just allow you like do your thing, they don't right. try to dictate for you. It's more like a partnership. Even when we want to drop a song, Jazzy just come and see you dropping a song. <laughs> we all come together, mm. and as a team, you say, which song should we drop next? Like, Mm. bangers on check but I have to pick the one so it's always a collaborative effort it's never like boss uh, I've mm. had this collaborative effort thing in the Maven crew a lot but do you feel pressured I mean amongst your peers to say I have to do as good as Rema I have mm. to do as good as this person do you feel that kind of pressure no to be honest because like before we even got signed we were together for like a year 2018 like throughout 2018 we we're just recording songs you know, learning the industry, learning how to be a perfect artist, learning how to be like a way of your brand and stuff like mm. that. So for me, we've been together for a while, so like it's just family, so mm. everybody's on their own P, you know. Yeah. So, so yeah. before we came live, I was listening to your song. I mean, I just put your name on the store and everything was coming in. But then I, f I felt like um, it, was, it, it, it was the same vibe, mm. all true. Like, of course, the words are different, but you could be in the same zone for a very long time listening to Crayon. Is that deliberate? And I would we be seeing you playing around different sounds as well? You know, for me, like I said, the name Crayon, is, it stands for, like, different shades of, like, sound in one. Mm -hmm. So, like, when you buy a Crayon, it 
crayon pack, you see like different colors, I start like my sound is, you can't really box me, I say, oh, this is crayon sound. I make music how I feel, like my lifestyle basically inspired my music. So like for me, I just go into the studio and just enjoy myself. So sometimes it's, it's deliberate, sometimes it's spiritual. So. Are you particular about the producer you work with? Or? I'm very, very particular about okay. the producer. I'm very picky. Okay, what's the procedure? <laughs> what do you look for before you pick someone? First of all, like I look forward to like the energy first. If the energy doesn't click right, there's mm. no point going to the like studio that. and record. Mm -hmm. So like for me, it's about the energy. Mm. Once it clicks right, everything else just comes together. You're proper youngin though, like <laughs> proper youngin, very very young. And this industry is wild. I'm not even an artist, but I can see from you know an onlooker's perspective that is quite wild. If there was another youngin that is about to, he doesn't even know yet, and is about to be the next best thing, what advice would you? Um, give to him that you wish you knew a lot earlier? Uh, for me, like, I know there's an there's 11 year old boy or girl watching this interview now and telling his, his or her mom, telling her that, yo, I'm going to be better than this guy. <laughs> I'm trying to let the kid know that, you know, I'm not done. You know, I'm trying to take the Afro beat to the next level, to the apex level, and B board is where my head is at. Like, I've mm. never, I want to be number one. I'm never shy about it. Like, being number two sucks. So, like, I want to be number one you know, like the forefront of Afro be like apex level. So yeah, I'm not done. So just stay watching. <laughs> okay, that's mm -hmm. cool. So I guess this is where you do something for us, sing mm -hmm. for us before we carry it. Um, okay, I'll just say, Bade mini sale, on good. In Jakarira, on good. Say make you wine, I'm on good. Nah, yeah. Bade mini sale, on good. Jakarira on good, say make you wine, I'm on good. Nah, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Now, who born, now, who born you, my baby? Oh, oh, na na. You too fine, you too sweet, like Tangerine, oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Alrighty. So, should we be expecting any collaboration soon? Are you working on something? I mean, you've dropped five songs already this year. That's, mm. that's hard work, right? So, What's next? What what's next for um, Crayon? You know, I got I got like collaborations already out. Like I got one with Kalash, he's mm -hmm. a French rapper, it's dope. I got one with um Tessellated Vibes from Jamaica mm -hmm. and it's fire as well, but like for me it's about when the time is right, we just go there and just do our thing. But for sure I wanna work with everybody out here, mm -hmm. like for real, because that's the only way we can take the culture forward. So some of our previous guests have sometimes revealed um, information that has wowed me. One of them was that a lot of their audience will be outside of Nigeria. Is that the same for you or um, is, it, is it different? Are your fans really in Nigeria or are they outside? Because I'm hearing now that you're um, you know, collaborating with people who are outside the country. Is this mm -hmm. deliberate because your fans are outside or do you have Nigerians here that are for you? Yeah, of course I do not have, I have Nigerians like for real because this is where like the whole thing started from. So mm. they definitely want to connect with me because I'm from here. So um, for me, it's about like reaching the whole like continent with my sound and just you know expanding the sound. That's basically the idea for me. Like, because mm. mm. so collaborations are strategic for you. Exactly. Okay. It's never like just going to say no. It has to be really strategic. You know? Okay, we need a woman on your sound though. If you're, if, who is the <laughs> next woman? Wh which woman are you going to pick to break this? Um, will I say womanless track of yours? No. I don't. <laughs> Is there Isn't any woman true, yeah. that you want to feature on your EP album? Any songs? Is that something you're looking into? Definitely. Is your sound male strict? Okay, so no, which which, which lady in the industry are you eyeing right now? In terms of like music, yeah. Yeah. music. Mm. <laughs> 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 talk so um, uh, I just want to work with every dope ass. I don't like to say female artists. Mm. Every artist, like mm -hmm. we're all okay. one, we're all together. You know, yeah. feel me? So definitely, I want to work with. You know, I like Thames, Thames Fire, mm. yeah. you know, like basically for real, like everyone had shit. Okay, so if Tiwa Savage came and Shay Shay came and you had to pick only one person, who would you pick? Uh, <laughs> because, because, because I have this vibe with Tiwa, so mm. like. Oh, it's mm. maybe from that. Yeah. She saw, she saw, she saw the old start, mm. like she saw yeah. the beginning, yeah, the beginning, mm. the early stages. Okay. So. So what's your relationship with um, older artists in the industry? Would you say they're welcoming? Would you say uh, you want more mentorship or what you have in Maven is enough for you? For real. But if I want to stick to that, I'll see what I have in Maven is enough for me. But like, mm. definitely, most definitely, like, 
the OGs are like welcoming us, like because I think it's a revolutionary thing. Like happens like every ten years in the game, mm. new set of like new boys, new generation sound. So when at that time too, the OGs welcome them. So it's only yeah. right. I feel like if Nigeria could like the Nigerian government could like emulate how the we industry. treat ourselves in the music industry, Nigeria would be a better place to be mm. honest. Wow. Okay. To be honest, like That's nice. the love in the music industry, like how we come together and just push the culture forward without no support from anyone else, just mm. independently. Mm -hmm. I feel like if I heard you say that, because there was a, a, an other uncle asked you if you f if you think that you are a threat to the older people in the industry, <sighs> and then you explain that you know there's a type of grace that's different that the youngings have now, where you are getting the numbers faster and blowing up really fast. And I, I kind of liked that um, uh, reply of yours. Do you think that now, you, oh, and that was a while ago, so your journey has kind of evolved. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm even careful when I say upcoming because I feel like you're getting your own, you're creating your own space in the industry. Mm -hmm. Would you say that that's still the same for, you know, the industry that you're in now? Has it changed or do you think that um, younger artists still do really well, more so than the older ones? For me, I feel like, you know, Afrobeat is in a really, really good space right now. Mm. Like everybody's paying attention to Afrobeat. So right. once you're doing something that is right, they'll connect. Like there's no, oh, it has to be young or it has to be like mm. this. But no, as long as the song is right, it's right. Like that's, that's how I feel. So for me, I just make sure that every song I put out there, I do not rush my stuff. I take my time because mm. music for me is really, really spiritual. I don't take mm. it for granted. Every time I go to the studio, I pop my heart. Use the spiritual word a couple of times on yeah, this interview. Exactly, exactly what does spiritual. that mean for you to say music is spiritual? Because mm. for me to be able to drop to go into the studio and just see how I put out like melodies, how I feel, and you connect, that's spiritual. Because mm. like you were not even know that making a record. So like, how did you even connect to that? Like mm. my my personal mm. life and melodies, me speaking to your soul melodies, like. Mm. I like that. I can basically. Okay. Are you going to like go back to school though? On a serious, I've heard you several <laughs> times saying, I, "I left school, but don't don't leave all." And you're always advising people, and you claim that you're going back to school. Is this <laughs> legit, or are you just? I don't know. It feels like some PR person has told you not to encourage dropping out. But mm. are you actually interested in going back? Can you actually go back to school and finish? Uh, <laughs> 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 wow, that's a very interesting question. But like. For now, I'm just focused on the music, man. Mm. Let's okay. get that bread, man. Mm. Okay. <laughs> ah, thank you, Crayon, for joining us. Appreciate videos. it. And that's how we wrap up this episode of Sea Time. Thank gang, you for gang. watching. And please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or Twitter, Twitter Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Olu who had to step down. And of course, the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.